All right, Father God, we come before you giving you praise and honor. We thank you for food, raiment, and shelter. Thank you for everything you have done and what you'll continue to do for us. You're a great God. You're an awesome Savior. Father, come by here, Lord. We need a touch from you. Come by here. Babylon is falling, Lord. Come by here, Father, and keep us on the narrow path that leads to everlasting life. Be with the war-torn countries. Be with the flooded areas, dear Father, the areas that were flooded out and all the people who are still displaced, dear God. Just bless them. Father God, continue to be with Sister Colleen in a special way. Dear Father, cover her with your blood and just anoint her. Keep her from all harm and danger. Be with her husband. Be with her children. Dear Father, in a special way, her boys, her boys, her boys, her grandchildren, touch them all from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Be with those who are rallying around her as she fight cancer, dear Father. In the name of Jesus, continue to be with Sister Strong in a special way as she remains strong for the family. We ask the Lord that you may just continue to bless her and keep her, cover her with your blood. Be with Marcus, 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 Pop King, Felicia. Be with Carla, CJ, CJ, CJ. But especially Carla, dear Father, give her a strong healing. Be with Brother Hopkins in a special way, dear Father. Continue to bless him and keep him, cover him with your blood. Be with his child, his wife, dear Father, all his siblings, co-workers, friends, neighbors. Touch them, Lord, from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. And just continue to bless. Be with Brother Peters in a special way. His mom, his mom, his mom. Be with his son, dear father, siblings, co-workers, friends, neighbors. Just continue to bless them in the name of Jesus. Cover them with your blood and just anoint them in Jesus' precious name. Lord, continue to be with Sister Davis's family. Jack, 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 Lawan, Yolanda. Be with Latrice and Reggie. Dear Father, continue to bless them and touch them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Be with uh, Sister Evans in a special way. Dear Father, she is your child. Lord, continue to be with her two children, Al, 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 and Aletheia. Dear Father, cover them with your blood and just anoint them. Be with Glenn, 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 Shakira. Be with Leon. Dear Father, uh, Lord, just bless them, touch them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Be with Big Miller, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Just continue to bless. Be with uh, Sister Watt, Sister Manning. Be with Sister Glass, Brother White, the Dawkins family. Dear Father, continue to bless also Sister Massey, Sister Bernadette. Lord, just bless them all and keep them, cover them with your blood and just anoint them, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Be with Sister Crystal and her two kids and grandchildren. Lord, just bless them and keep them, cover them with your blood and just anoint them, dear Father. Lord, be with her with her studies also. Uh, Father God, just continue to bless. Be with... Um, Sister Lynette, in a special way, dear Father, all she's asking for is a little food for her children. Lord, just continue to bless her and keep her as she takes care of these 20 children. Lord, be with her daughter, who is still suffering from the tonsillitis. It, it reduces a little bit, dear Father, that she could eat, but Lord is still there. So we ask that you may heal her completely. Be with Sister Patricia in a special way. Be with her sons, dear father, her grandchild. Lord, be with the firewood. Help that the rain will stop and she'll be able to sell the firewood, make some money so that she'll have a wonderful Christmas, dear father. Be with Frida in a special way. Help her to sell everything that she has at the flea market today, dear father. Lord, just continue to bless, dear father, in the name of Jesus be with influencer also in a special way. Continue to bless him and keep him. Thank you for bringing his brother home safely. Lord, just continue to bless. Be with um, Carrie Carrie in a special way. Dear Father, Lord, she is your child. I know it's sometimes difficult with her and her siblings as she is the, the older, older child taking care of the siblings. Dear Father, we ask that you may provide her with the job and 
all that she needs, dear Father, so that she can take care of her siblings. Continue to be with uh, Karubo, dear Father, Evelyn Karubo, just bless her and keep her. She said, Daddy, I just, I just need a good job so I could take care of my family. Be with her husband who has mental problems like my beautiful wife. Dear Father, Lord, just continue to bless. But he's doing much better now. So I give God a praise for that. Lord, just continue to bless Rhoda in a special way. Father God, she don't need much. It's five dollars to buy some food. So Lord, just uh, bless her with that. And bless her with a job also. Carry, carry, Lord, just bless her. Lord, just continue to bless them all. Be with Dismas or Sanchez. Lord, just bless him. He came on briefly. He said, Daddy, I got to go to class. So, Lord, be with him as he studies. I know they're doing some kind of exams now. Be with um, Millicent also doing exams. Lord, just continue to bless them in college, Lord, and help them to come out with flying colors so that they can, you know, take care of many people. Dear Father, thank you for bringing the 10 children back from Camp Ari. They were so tired that I wanted to talk to them yesterday, but they were just sleeping. Dear Father, Lord, just bless. Bless the other 20 kids that Sanchez has. Lord, just continue to bless as they are plastering uh, the um, boys' dorm. I give God the praise for that. That brought me a lot of joy because, um, Lord, you are a great God. Be with the Bible that we're reading. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Be with the Grant family, my beautiful, sweet wife, and all my children, dear God, especially Tyana, who has already gone out to do the taxi work or Uber work, what she does. Lord, just bless. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Bless the car. It was giving some trouble, but bless the car, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> all right. God is good. Add on to all his land. The great temptations which thine eyes have seen, the signs and those great miracles. Yet the Lord has not given you an heart to perceive, and eyes to see, and ears to hear unto this day. And I have led you forty years in the wilderness. Your clothes are not waxen old upon you, wow. and thy shoe is not waxen old upon thy foot. Ye have not eaten bread, neither have ye drunk wine or strong drink, that ye might know that I am the Lord your God. When ye have, when ye came unto this place, ye are king, and the king of Heshbon and Ark came out against us unto battle, and we smote them. And we took their land and gave it for an inheritance unto the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh. Keep therefore the words of this covenant, and do this, that ye may prosper in all that ye do. Ye stand this day, all of you, before the Lord your God, your captains of, tribe, of your tribe, your elders, and your officers, with all the men of Israel. Verse 11, verses 11 to 15. Uh, your little ones, your wives, and thy strangers that is in thy camp, from the hill of thy wood unto the drawer of thy water, that thou shouldest enter the, into covenant with the Lord thy God, and into his oath, which the Lord thy God maketh with thee this day that he may establish me today for a people unto himself, and that he may be unto thee a God, as he hath said unto thee, and as he hath sworn unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Neither with you only do I make this covenant and this oath, but with him that standeth here with us this day before the Lord your God, and also with him that is not here with us this day. Brother Grant. Wow. <laughs> All right. So we just um, finished reading from Deuteronomy chapter 29. 
And we started at verse 1. I'll be picking up at verse 16 and take it down to verse uh, 20. All right. It says, uh, For ye know how we have dwelt in the land of Egypt, and how we came through the nations which he passed by. And he have seen their abominations and their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold, which were among them, lest there should be among you men, or woman, or family, or tribe, whose heart turneth away this day from the Lord our God, to go and serve the gods of these nations, lest there should be among you a root that breed uh, uh, gall and wormhood. And it come to pass, when he heareth the word of this curse, that he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in the imagination of mine heart, to had drunkenness to thirst. The Lord will not spare him, but then the anger of the Lord and the jealousy Shall, and his jealousy shall smoke against that man, and all the curses that are written in this book shall lie upon him, and the Lord shall blot out his name from under heaven. Wow! I don't know about you. But I, do you want your name to be blot out from under heaven? Any one of us online? Sound like a crazy question. But sometimes we say no, but our action says yes. And God, who was God talking to? Who was he talking to? His chosen people that he brought out of Egypt. That's who he was talking to. And they passed through different, different nations. And when they passed through the nations, they saw the different, different nations worshiping God of stone, God of wood, worshiping God of gold, silver, and all other precious metal. And some of them would divert themselves away from the true and living God. Oh, have mercy. And start to worship those gods that does not, they do not speak. And they cannot do anything for them. God is saying, if we even today divert ourselves from the true and living God. And go ahead and worship other gods. It says he'll blot our names out from under heaven. And I don't think none of us on this line want our names blotted out. So let us continue to worship the true and living God. And worship him only. God made sure he let his people know that he was the one who brought them out of Egypt. And one of the things that I, I don't know, how many of us love nice clothes? And now maybe one person can answer me. But Sister Colleen, do you love nice clothes? Yep. All right. So, I, I am not even sure how this work, but I look at this section and I said, wait a minute now. It says, and I have led you 40 years 
in the wilderness, your clothes are not waxed, can hold up on you, and thy shoes is not waxed and hold upon thy foot. Sister Evans, I need your help. <clears throat> Uh, is this saying that they were wearing the same shoes and the same clothes for 40 years? Whatever they brought from Egypt is what they kept for 40 years. And it is saying that the clothes did not wear out. The shoes did not wear out. Can I imagine how many different sets of clothes <clears throat> I could say myself, but I'm here to, say, to ask, you know, how good is our God? And I wanted to say how many different amount of clothes I bought in 40 years. And they were able to live it out with the clothes they had. I don't know how to explain it and I'm not going to try. All I know that we serve a God who knows how to preserve what we have. And it goes down to say that God fought our battles also. He's fighting our battles, but he fought their battles. All the nations that came upon him, upon them, he was able to destroy. And not only that, all he asks if the children of Israel to do is to be obedient and do the things that he asks them to do. Do we believe that God wants us to be obedient to him today and do the things that he asks us to do? Of course. And the answer is yes. Do not. And, and, and I want to stress this because sometimes we wonder how, how, how did we find other gods to worship? But anything that we put, and I want to make sure you get this, anything that we put in place of the true and living God, that thing becomes our God. Did you all get it? Or I need to repeat it. Huh? So we have to be very, very careful what we put before God. They say God has been doing a lot. For his people. And expect them. To obey him. And who. Are, are, we, are we talking about the people. That is. Back there. That came out of Egypt now. Or. Does, is it relevant to us today. And the answer is yes. This is what God is expecting of us. We are just rehearsing what happened back then. But God is looking for us to do what he asked the Israelites to do. So that our names, and I, I mean, this is really, you know, could be scary. Because it says he will blot out his name from under heaven. That is scary. So we need to stay in and with God so that our names will not be blotted out. Praise ye the Lord. I am. And God said to Moses, I am who I am. Exodus 3, 14. Worried about how to answer if the children of Israel asked him who had sent him. Moses asked the Lord to tell him how he should identify him before the people. And God answers, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, 
I am has sent me to you. I am. This is one of the ways that God reveals himself in the scripture in order for us to know him. Referring to this passage, the Andrew's Bible commentary comments that when God reveals himself as the I am, the expression referred to being not in the philosophical sense of existence, but in the sense of being active with the right form, Yahweh is the name of the God who makes himself known by an act, the act of redemption. In other words, one of the things that God uses to make himself known to us is through his action. God was telling Moses, I am. And how do you know I am? I do. Identity is manifested in my actions. What were those actions? In the Old Testament, God revealed himself through the actions of redemption, delivery, forgiveness, and reconciliation. In the Testament, in the New Testament, God revealed himself to us through the life of Jesus. Jesus used the expression, I am, to refer to himself. He did not use it as a mere metaphor, but rather his actions reflected the identification that he made with the name the name Jesus say, I am the bread of life. And he fed the multitudes. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. And he literally raised the dead. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives life for his sheep. And he gave his life for us. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And by this manner of living, he illuminated the path of Christians. Christians should walk. Jesus said, I am the door. And he guided us with his words and his example to where we should enter. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And he unmasked lies, pointed out which way we should go to find God. And with that, he guaranteed us a life beyond this life. Jesus said, I am the true vine. I am come to teach them to be united with me, that that means they might bear fruit. The great I am asked constantly in your life. What he is, is manifested in what he does. One of the things that he does is invite you to contemplate who he is and the salvation that he offers you. Why? Because this world is not our final home. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's not our final home. Lord, I have heard thy voice and it told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. May my soul look up with a steadfast hope, and my will be lost in thine. Oh, the pure delight of a single or that before thy throne I spend. When I kneel in prayer and with thee, my God, I commune as friend with friend. There are depths of love that I cannot know till I cross the narrow sea. There are heights of joy that I may not reach till I rest in peace with thee. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, 
to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Amen. 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 We want to thank you for just your blessings. Draw us closer to the cross because we're made there, we are covered in your blood. Oh, yes. As we go through this day, we ask you to take us to and from safely help so that everything that we studied, we'll be able to implement it in our daily lives. And when you communicate them, save us with brain, just so the name, amen. Sister Lynette? Sister Lynn, okay. Let us believe, let us believe as we pray. Our Father and our Lord who art in heaven, we thank you, Father, for this new day. We thank you, Lord, for the, our prayer line. We thank you, Lord, for the word that we have shared. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of life, for the gift of good health. Dear Lord, we thank you for everything because we are what we are, Lord, because of you, dear Lord. Thank you, Father Lord. Dear Lord, we are sinners. We pray that you may forgive us our sins and you may wash away our sins with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Almighty Father, I pray that, Lord, that you may provide food for the kids, dear Lord, because, Father, I don't have enough for them throughout this week, dear Lord. I also pray, Father, for everyone in this prayer line. Lord, hear our prayers, the saint ones and the unsaid, Lord. Hear all of them, Lord, and answers for it according to your will, dear Lord. I pray for the sick people at homes and at hospitals. Dear Lord, may you heal them. I pray for my daughter, Duchess, who is supposed to be removed to source, Lord, but finances are not enough, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you may provide ways, Lord, that we may get the finances, Lord, that she may be removed the tonsils, dear Lord. In oh, yes. the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Kerry, Kerry? Father Lord, we thank you for the for the word of God that you have shared in this prayer line. May it stick on our minds so that we can live with your word, Father Lord. Father Lord, I put our dad, Michael, continue protect him, continue giving him good health, Father Lord, and can you give him more years to live, Father Lord. For our sisters and brothers who are in this prayer line, can you provide our needs, Father Lord? I pray this prayer, believe in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Influencer? Let's say, Father, we thank you for the life you have given us since we are born and did this thing, Father. Father, we come to you, Father. We ask you for forgiveness, Father. We thank you for everything you have given us, Father. We thank you for the spirit you used to send us so that we, it can guide us while we play in our prayer line and it makes us to understand oh, yeah. more. I play this short in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, Peruba? <laughs> Evelyn? All right. Sister Patricia? Sister Patricia? Yes. Let us pray. Father God, we give you thanks for the day. We give you thanks for the light. We give you thanks for your love. Father, we are oh, yeah. happy to be with you Christ, every day. Uh, uh, learning more and more about you into your holy book. Father, come and strengthen us so that we can, can always be in your ways. Let your Holy Spirit guide us, O Lord. And continue to keep us together in Jesus. Father, bless our prayer line. Bless every member of this prayer line, Father. We are sinners. Don't forget us. Don't for, forget us, Father. Forgive our sins and continue to hold us on your hands. Let your will be done in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen. Vinick? Vinick? All right, all right. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. 
In Amen. Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Psalms 1914. Amen. Remember, be obedient to God and your name will not be blotted out from under the heavens. Praise the Lord.